ACB family, how's it going? Welcome to Hold the Ball. Hope you guys are well. Yes, welcome to round 24 of the tips here. Second to last tip, all right, round for tips before we get into the real deal. Uh, teams that are already embracing that, uh, I suppose, that early trip to Cancun, as uh, NBA fans would say. Um, and I suppose other fans as well, teams are preparing for, for the real big dance, right? And some teams are probably questioning whether they should be in the eight or not. Sometimes it happens. Anyway, I digress. Fast tips, simple as that. Three, two, one. Let's do it. All right, guys. So we got the Broncos against the Eels. Look, the Broncos won't be happy against their performance. Uh, you know, uh, versing the Storm there, sixty plus points. So we all know it's technically it's, it's over for them. They're not going to win a premiership. That's the way it goes. I've always said that the Broncos are up and down, more leading towards down as of late, and uh, I think the Eels will be too strong for them. I really do. I'm um, obviously at home still, but nah. Uh, for me, it's going to be Eels. Second game is the Penrith Panthers against the Warriors. Please check my video for uh, updates on that. Third game is the Storm against the Roosters. Now, this is a blockbuster match, right? It's fourth against six. And um, although the Roosters have been, you know, should come away with that very good win against the Tigers, much like the Storm against the Broncos, I still think, though, that the Storm are sort of, and I hate saying this, but they're, they're peaking. They're peaking and, and they're... Running at the at the right time, I think. Anyway, granted, they've had no real serious injuries. Obviously, Puppin Houston, unfortunately, has been a victim to it. But, I mean, generally speaking, it's, a, it's been a consistent squad, nonetheless. Give or take some. But in saying that, I think uh, Storm at home, Roosters, nah, Storm for me. Uh, the game sees the Raiders against Manly. Um, Raiders have everything to fight for. Just coming away against the, uh, the Knights there at the end, winning by two points. Manly, well, they've absolutely, well, they've flown... Strains of the sun, haven't they, really? Um, things haven't gone their way, and, and I still think it was back to that jersey thing. Whatever happened then, it's changed the team dynamic, I think, anyway. And I don't think the team will be the same. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, though, any of you Manny fans, but uh, until the board changes, yeah, that, that incident there was a pretty tough one. Anyway, for mine, I think Raiders will do well, and they'll, they'll, yeah, they'll, they'll uh, bring the, uh, the milk home, so to speak. Other game sees the Sharks against the Bulldogs, and we all know how we love the Bulldogs, especially with their passion, and uh, how they've been somewhat, you know, trying, obviously it's insane that though the last two weeks have not been pretty for them, they're up against a very strong, formidable Sharks team who are not here to lose top three, right, at the moment, I predicted them to finish in the top four, so I think uh, it's safe to say that I was right, anyway, take it, I'll, anyway, anyway. Um, look, and saying that, I, look, Sharks to me, those would be too strong across the park. It wouldn't even be close. I think their forwards will tire them out quick. The Sharks forwards will tie up the Bulldogs forwards. It'll get a bit scrappy, I reckon, but ultimately, yeah, class prevails, and there you go. Other game sees the Rabbitohs against the Cowboys. Now, this is an interesting game here. Rabbitohs will be absolutely devastated uh, losing to the Penrith Panthers C grade team. And then I say it because I think it was. Um, as for the Cowboys, well, hey, you know. Uh, things are looking good. Uh, they're, they're ready. And uh, I think they should be a team that uh, should be taken seriously, I think, heading into uh, the cusp of the finals, basically, right? Uh, however, in saying that, though, Rabbitohs, the, the reality is, how how badly do you want this? How badly do you want this? Are you, are you here to play games? Are you here to, you know, sort of just muck around? Or do you generally believe you can do something? And, and I suppose that's a question I'm bringing forth to the Rabbitohs, right? Especially after that loss against the Penrith Panthers. As for the Cowboys, well... They're shooting for the stars, aren't they? But I'm saying that I, th I think... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. The Cowboys obviously dominating the Warriors. Rabbitohs, well, a lot to ask. A lot, left, uh, a lot there that has been left uh, to be desired. But I think I'm going to go with the Rabbitohs here. This will be the true test. If the Rabbitohs lose to the Cowboys, I, as far as I'm concerned, rub them out of the finals, regardless if the trauma jewel's there or not. Simple as that. I know. I get it's tough, but there's the point in the season where the big questions, I think, need to be thrown anyway, right? It is one of those big statements as well. All right, so the second to last game sees the West Tigers against the Dragons. Look, Tigers, Tigers, Tigers. Um, I think uh, this is now officially their position until the end of the season. I think they're the wooden spooners. And what a pity because there were actually, there was some moments there where, where they were actually coming into their own. Just slowly, slightly they were. And then in true West Tigers fashion, they crumbled, dipped, and absolutely rolled over, right? That shellacking they got against the Roosters, I think, was a defining point. Um, James Tamo trying to, you know, stick around for, for, for two more games. Things are not good there. Coach changes for next season. As for the Dragons, well, look, a, a season that I think they can be, yeah, look, that's, 
anyway, anyway, just going to the game. I think the Dragons for mine will win. It might be a tough, tough wrestle, but I think the Dragons win by eight points. So Dragons for me. Last game sees the Titans against the Knights. Now this is an interesting game here, right? Um, obviously, uh, the Titans, in my opinion, did well, right, to, to beat, um, to, to come out of the slumber that that's called the Wooden Spoon. Um, over the Knights, look, I tell you what, it's it's an interesting game because the Knights will be reeling from that loss against the Raiders, right? Where they looked okay, things were promising, but unfortunately defense was not in their, uh, their forte. As for the Titans, a bit of a tough loss there against the Dragons. However, time to mitigate those errors, turn things around, and I think bring things back. This game here will be interesting, but I think you've almost got to go with the home team here, right? So Titans for me. Anyway, guys, that's me done there for now. Hope you guys well. Thanks again for watching. Give me your thoughts. Rugby league is in the air, airy where i look around right anyway we're all getting serious now it's the yeah that's right the teams that don't deserve to be there throw them in the heap right throw them in the next year pile as for the teams that are ready to to punch and, and move on and make make inroads it's really time to take them seriously and um i'll tell you what yeah it's, it's an interesting it's gonna be an interesting round but I, anyway in, in saying that I, I yeah i'm done take it easy thanks again for watching and thank you again for your support if you need a yarn let me know. Anyway, take it easy. See you guys next time. And just remember, if you you want your team to win, what do they have to do? Quite literally, the most simple thing, only thing that matters in rugby league, hold the ball. Well, yeah, not only, but yeah, anyway, see ya.